Hey, what's up, fantasy people? This is Tyler, Big Turd Ward, coming at you live from my garage. And this is the Fantasy Footballing Show. So today's episode, week eight, last second fantasy factoids. And uh, yeah, so uh, I remembered there was a game in London, but I always forget that it's like at 6 a.m., dude. And you know who had the strength not to start? Cortland Sutton. Me, and you know how nice it was waking up and seeing that he had, what, like one catch for 10 yards or something like that? So Jerry Judy's getting all the work there. Um, Cortland Sutton, man, uh, went from, like, MVP to nothing. And so, yeah, it's either the Jacksonville defense um, or his shoulder is really hurting. Apparently, Russell Wilson is icing his shoulder between drives. You know, he was doing high knees all the way there for his hamstring, and now he's icing his shoulder between drives. So, yeah, dude, if he really is injured, look for Cortland Sutton to get all of his, you know, 10 tar 9.5 targets per game uh, once Russell Wilson's shoulder isn't so jacked. Because as soon as that thing got jacked, it was, like, all short throws and everything else. So, yeah, I wouldn't start Cort Cortland Sutton until we see something good from him right now because it wasn't good with Rippon, and right now it's not good with Rus Russell Wilson. I tried trading him, but what are you going to do, man? Nobody wants anything of Denver. So first off, I want to say um, thank you so much to uh, the 23rd subscriber, Matt, from YouTube. He's been leaving all kinds of great comments, suggestions, you know, letting us know about uh, the scrubber thing. And I, 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 I don't know what I can change to get that going, but... I'm trying to talk to YouTube people and see what's up. To talk to YouTube people takes, like, weeks. Sucks. And then, um, also, 24 subscriber. My niece, who I, <laughs> who I convinced over the phone to subscribe. I would say hi, but you're never going to watch this, so I'm not going to waste my breath. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and then, um, we got, like, three more last night, because Jason went to a... Halloween party and got three people to subscribe, but then like an hour later they unsubscribed, I think. Because <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is, I gotta go buy a laptop. This show is blowing up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm still gonna buy a laptop anyways, because it would really help me. Like, I wanna do this show live right now, dude, so you guys can talk and everything. But like on my little phone, I could be like, I guess I could be like, oh yeah, and I could just answer, but I wish I had like, I could access the internet and do stuff while I'm asking, while I'm talking to you guys. So I think next week I might try it live just because I just had, I didn't feel, I, I was not, I was kind of ill yesterday, hung over, I guess. And uh, I just didn't want to put that much effort towards stuff. But and right now I do, and but it's too late. So uh, next week, look for a live episode of this and I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, I do need a laptop. It just, all the laptops I want are like $200, but they don't have enough power to do the, what, what I need for this. I'm talking about stuff that doesn't matter. Let's get into this. I should start this over and just go straight to facts, but you know what? Whatever. So Russ icing his shoulder in between. That was his first one because I thought that was stupid. But hey, the big thing here, Ronnie Rivers, are you going to add him? Matthew Barry's like, oh, I saw a Facebook post and uh, he's going to get a lot of work from the Rams today. He's the running back for the Rams. Check him out, Ronnie Rivers. I knew about this last night, but like... I thought it was just, like, bogus. Really, I did. There was only one article about it, so I didn't want to put any effort towards you guys or make you guys do something stupid. And uh, this morning, I woke up. That's the hot news again. And then I'm just like, dude, all I've heard about is Kyron Williams forever. I've never heard about this guy. He's gotten one carry for zero yards or whatever. Um, if you want to start him, that's fine. I would, you know that Daryl Henderson's going to be uh, involved. I just figured, dude, if you want like five points from a running back, if you can handle a four-point or a three-point floor from a running back, go ahead and pick him up and start him. Uh, but we have Kyron Williams coming back. It's not a long-term guy. So if you want, I mean, yeah, like if you've got a spot to burn on your waivers, dude, do it. But like I'll talk about guys right now that I'd rather have. I mean, pick up Josh Palmer, dude. Austin Eckler was just telling us like, three days ago, four days ago, pick up Josh Palmer. So, you know, Austin Eckler, or Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen's injury seems to be more serious than you think, and we don't have Mike Williams for going on a month and a half, and you know how injury-prone that dude is. So Josh Palmer was getting, what, like, oh, like 10 targets a game in that offense. I was just telling Matt, man, like, is Josh Palmer, because his team is stacked, you know, he's 14-person league. Scott, 
you know, Kenny Walker, Etienne, who's killing it right now. Etienne, dude, is the real deal. Um, and if you have Justin Jefferson for one year wide receivers, all you need is just somebody that gets you some points, a little bit of points. And Josh Palmer's on the waiver wire for a lot of people right now because they're on bye. Um, I mean, Wondell Robinson, dude. I mean, that's the same guy. You could have picked him up. He was, he was on my waiver list for a while. Go pick up Wondell uh, Robinson. Another guy who is worth a lottery ticket who could blow up was my fantasy MVP before the season. I, I shouldn't tell people this, but hey, man, this is an honest show. Uh, James Cook. He was, so Zach Moss, healthy scratch, the week before last, and then they had their bye last week. So they want to get Cook more involved. The scary thing is when they were looking, there was all these trade rumors for James Cook. It was kind of scary. Uh, I mean, I mean for um, f they wanted to get another running back onto Buffalo. They were like trying to get Christian McCaffrey, Antonio Gibson, all this weird stuff. So it is scary, but I still believe in James Cook. I really do. And I am so interested to see what he is doing today. If it wasn't for Josh Palmer and... Uh, Oh man, I forget who I, I've got another. Oh, and Gus Edwards and and Kyron Williams. I've got so many lottery tickets right now. Um, so I'm not going to do the James Cook. I should do the James Cook. Oh, Isaiah Pacheco. I've got Isaiah Pacheco, and I'm not going to drop Isaiah Pacheco for James Cook. But hey, dude, there's a lot of options out there other than this Ronnie Rivers dude. But it could bite me in the butt. And even if he does well today, I, I don't think it's sustainable. Um, they love Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams. Uh, was given the starting job over everybody in the beginning of the year, and he was a high draft pick. I am talking so much. Browns, now willing to, t to grant Hunt's trade request. Big deal. Look for the Rams to probably get. I mean, like this, dude. Look for the Rams to get Hunt or something like that. So, yeah, this Ron Rivers guy is going to be short-lived. Brandon Cooks. So, I own, a, I own Brandon Cooks, and, like, yeah, if you relied on Brandon Cooks, it sucks, all this trade talk, because they're, like, they're trying to, like, hold him out almost, you know, like not play him just so he gets traded uh, with no injuries or whatever. So it looks like he got healed and he's playing today. If you're desperate enough, play him. I'm not. I'm holding on to him. I, I tried to trade him. I was borderline going to drop him. But then all this, you, gotta tra you, gotta, you have to hold on to him past the trade deadline, which is on Tuesday. So hopefully he gets traded to the Packers and then we all dance in the streets with their clothes on. <laughs> Uh, Amon Ra, of course, he cleared protocol and is ready to play against me for Jason's dad. So if you have Amon Ra and Jared Goff, hey man, there you go. I think Jason's got Jared Goff starting. So huge bump to Jared Goff, huge bump to, <laughs> yeah, huge bump to Amon Ra, like <laughs> from not playing to playing. <laughs> so that sucks for me, but good for uh, Amon Ra. I love Amon Ra. Um, Devontae Adams feeling better. He is playing. So like me, he had an illness. And like me, he feels better. <laughs> so he's playing. Uh, Gus Edwards' hamstring is not as bad as they thought. I'm a Gus Edwards owner. I need help now. So we're looking at him maybe missing one or two weeks. So maybe next week, maybe the week after that. And then a limited game probably after that. So if you're a Gus Edwards owner and you need help now... Sell him to somebody else that, like, you know, hey, this it's not bad. It's a couple weeks. Try to include him into a trade for somebody if you need help now. If you don't need help now, hold on to him because he's going to be valuable later on. I'm going to try to probably package him into something. Um, Waller. Hey, dude. I was a Waller owner once, like, two years ago, and then I discovered how terrible that was, and I would never drafted him again. And look at this. Waller out. As much as I like Waller in his story, I mean, I, like, I kind of like the Raiders. It's like, my dad likes the Raiders. Whatever. Um, don't do it. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Moster, no injury designation. Um, I was kind of watching that because I'm a, because Edmonds has been on our waiver wires almost all year. I drafted him like an idiot. Apparently I just listened to, I followed the money and saw, followed his, uh, what I say? Miles per gallon <laughs> yards per carry in San Francisco. Thought it would translate NARP. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. Or so play play Mostert without hesitation. Smash matchup, dude. Lions. It's gonna get like eighty yards, two touchdowns, something like that. Maybe even a fifty yard touchdown, really, if you know Mostert. He hasn't busted those out this year, so if it was gonna be sometime, it might be right now. Uh, Antonio Gibson, if he's out there, you know, or if you want to pick him up, I picked him up off of waivers because I, dude, I heard that trade 
the trade talk some like random morning, I picked Antonio Gibson up immediately because if that fool went to like the Eagles or the Rams or the Bills or the Miami Dolphins, he would kill it. The guy's huge and fast. So if you just want to, I mean, Ron Rivera came out and said they're not going to trade him, but if you just want to take another lottery ticket, man, get out Antonio Gibson. He's like 79% owned, but for some reason he's been on our waivers for like three weeks. Um, Metcalf is in. What? Fool got carted off last week. And now he says he's going to play. So it was all about Marquise Goodwin, man. Like, oh yeah, who are we going to pick up for the next four weeks in Metcalf's absence? Well, this fool just injected so much steroids, you know, he's like, going to go nuclear today. Um, <laughs> he probably gets mad at everybody. Hey, hey, DK, what do you want for breakfast? Shut up! <laughs> Anyways... I don't know why. It's cold in here, and I just I just really literally rolled out of bed, man. Um, and I, I thought I was going to get up, to be able to wake up and watch the game, but oh yeah, that's right, Tyler's poor, doesn't have ESPN+. Plus. Guess what? If I get like, if we get like 50 subscribers, not only am I going to have to get a dang laptop, for sure, I'm also going to get some of these subscriptions so I can watch all these games for you guys. Okay, Metcalf in. Uh, I would be so careful with DK Metcalf, but I totally understand if you want to start him because it's like, if you start, it's like, because Lockett, okay, so, and then Lockett, I thought he was not going to play this whole week. Went from expected to play by Schefter, like, last night, this morning, and now he's a game-time decision by Rappaport. So you have two wide receivers for these guys. Yeah, you don't know what the hell is going on, man. So roll the dice if you need to because I understand they're two valuable wide receivers. And then Geno Smith on that side, dude. Uh, it's not ideal for Geno Smith, but you can still start him. Um, Juwan Johnson. I've been watching this tight end. I mean, it was mostly against Arizona when I had when I started Tyson Hill, and this dude got two touchdowns. Uh, but he's been doing pretty good for the Saints, especially when um, Andy Dalton throws for a lot of yards. But uh, he only had one limited practice this uh, week, and now he's questionable for the Saints. I wouldn't even if you have, if you get one limited part. Uh, practice and you're not really that big of a player i'm not starting him so i know you're desperate for tight ends look elsewhere for uh for some points for your tight end and then matt collins a couple of limited practices this week this week he had a heel injury and you know he's still fighting for his job he wants everything there is so he's never missed a game apparently and he's i, I expect him to play and there's people in my league that play uh matt collins so i expect you guys to as well um anyways that is it um, again, thank you guys so much. I did not even say like and subscribe because I was just like, I just wanted to thank everybody. You know, I'm, I was just like, dude, this has been like one of the best weeks for this week. And a lot of it is, uh, you know, KJ and Kevin and Matt, you know, getting involved and it makes it so much better. Really, it does. So yeah, well, we're working on the technology here. Um, thank you for your suggestions, man. And uh, we're going to try to get all of that done. So anyways, good luck today. I'm going to put this video out. Sorry it's late. Um, I actually slept in today. I was, like I said, I was sick yesterday. I don't know what was going on. I never get sick. I think I ate something bad. Anyways, see you guys later.